today actually I am going to talk about the Amazon API gateway and uh, I tried to set up the HTTP API and uh, while setting up I, I started getting this error that is course issue so you must be aware of this course issue uh, this uh, is basically it's not an issue but it's basically a uh, protective measure that is used by uh, AWS API gateway to protect uh, the uh, endpoints from the hackers so whenever you create the Amazon API gateway endpoint and you try to access it from your local maybe when you are into the development phase then you get this course error and uh, today I'm going to show how we can get rid of this error for the HTTP API so let's first uh, quickly uh, create a simple HTTP API and then we will start using it so I'm going to just uh, create a API and I will just add a simple integration uh, with lambda and uh, there is a simple lambda that I have already created so this lambda is doing nothing but it's just returning a simple response that hello from lambda so you can replace uh, uh, this function with your own function so just do next uh, the method that uh, we usually use is post and, uh, I, and the path is experiment uh, don't change anything else uh, uh, staging name I am keeping as default so uh, we are ready to create it let's create this API so uh, okay so you can see that the API endpoint uh, is uh, created so let me copy this and uh, let's go to my workspace so uh, on actually over here I have um, set up a local project angular project where I will be using a simple HTTP uh, request to just uh, hit this uh, Amazon gate API gateway and endpoint so let me add uh, complete the path experiment so uh, it's just a very simple uh, HTTP rec post request that I will be sending and I am just trying to get the response and uh, I am just trying to log that response on the uh, on the web browser so uh, maybe you are using some different uh, framework for the front end but that doesn't matter because I am just going to explain how we are going to face this issue uh, with course and how we need to resolve this so so far it looks good uh, we have just uh, copied the API gateway URL and we are just going to trying to send the post request we are trying to get response and log it so let me just go to the browser and try to access it so you can see on my console that uh, uh, we are getting this error that uh, this uh, the access to this endpoint is blocked by course policy so you must have encountered this uh, course policy error many times it's uh, it's there uh, in place for the good to protect the api endpoints from hackers but when you are doing the development you want to get rid of this uh, error so that you can smoothly test your endpoints so what uh, we can do is so uh, i just uh, went to the api gateway and i just tried to see what uh, we can do in the course configuration so in the in the course configuration uh, you can see that uh, it has default uh, configuration setup that no origin is allowed so we definitely want to change that and we want to change that to star so it means that um, uh, it will it should allow uh, the request incoming HTTP request from any uh, host so uh, now uh, we can add sub a bunch of methods like post options had so it, it's important that we have and uh, that we add options because this is the method that browsers used to just to send the send a pre-flight request uh, the another parameter is the headers we we should allow uh, all the headers for experimental purpose so just note that these uh, settings are just for the development phase and they are not for the production de deployment 
and uh, we need to change that for the production it's just for testing purpose we can use this so we have saved this and now uh, it should be good uh, that is what I thought in the beginning and when I just again refresh my page uh, let me see so I, I, I'll still getting this error right I have set up the course policy but I'm still getting the error that was the problem that I was facing and it took me some time to find out that uh, you have to do one more setting apart from course to uh, make this working the thing is that whenever the we are trying to access the API uh, API gateway by using our browsers then it is actually sending the uh, request to this by using the options method uh, that's why and this options method is actually missing point so let me go to the route routes and you see that there is a uh, met, uh, post method is available but there is no route for uh, uh, options method and even though our course settings are allowing everything but still uh, we are getting this error so let's just uh, add another method simply and that is uh, options method and uh, the path should be same uh, because we are adding it into this path experiment and let's create this so for options I am not adding any kind of uh, uh, any kind of authorization or I, and I'm not attaching any kind of integration uh, so this is automatically deployed uh, let's go to course and let me try to refresh this again uh, it should be good now fingers crossed oh it's again giving this error let me check why Run course routes options touch policy it's already deployed but Oh, okay so uh, I forgot to add the headers so let me add headers uh, with star again so it's it star allow any origin allow any header and allow these methods so let's save it uh, it should be auto deployable so it should be good now and yeah uh, that's it so now I have got this response hello from lambda and uh, I am no longer getting this error so uh, let me also show you this uh, lambda method that I am getting the response correctly uh, from the lambda method only this is the uh, this is the lambda method that we pointed uh, when we, at the start we were creating this API and you can see in the code uh, section that I am just returning a simple hello from lambda let me change this hello from lambda bye bye okay uh, let me deploy it and uh, it's deployed let me refresh this Ah, okay so I am again uh, now getting the um, by, by message so it's uh, it's working perfectly fine I hope this helps you too Thank you.